bookmarks and cross-references work quite well together, which is why I'm, I'm putting them together into this video. Bookmarks are a way of, well, as you would with a book, really, putting a mark in a page so you can quickly turn back to it at a later date. So, for example, I might be working on this document all about Cockermouth, and I've put this information in about education, but I know I want to update it at a later date. I've just put this information in for now, and I want to come back to it. For example, I know that's not the current uh, head teacher, perhaps. So what I can do is I can bookmark education. Now I can do this by selecting some word, I can select a whole group, or I can just click generally in the area that I want to work with. I like to select my subheading and then I know where I'm at. Once we've got that selected, we do insert bookmark and we just type in a, a name for the bookmark. Um, I like to keep it nice and simple and use the same word um, as I've selected. Just a, a, a word of care though, uh, you can't use spaces. Okay, so I couldn't put education in Cockermouth, it wouldn't accept that. So you could put an underscore there instead of a space. So education, we add the bookmark and that's it, the bookmark's edited. Uh, edited. The bookmark is entered. If I scroll to the top of the page and I'll show you how we would work that. Come back to my document at a later date. I want to go to that bookmark now. I can do edit and go to. Notice the keyboard shortcut. I could also do control G. Go to, go to what? Got this tab. It's actually the find and replace tab dialog box, but we're using the go to tab of that. And we can go to lots of different things. I'm selecting bookmark. And at the right hand side, it shows me all the bookmarks that I've got currently selected. I've only got one selected at the moment. So I select it, go to, close the dialog box, and it's jumped me to that bookmark. So I'll select another one. Let's do sports organisations. Insert. Bookmark. Give it a name. Add it. And there it's done. So now we can do, scroll to the top of the page, see the effect. Edit and go to, or control G for the shortcut. Select the bookmark I want to go to. And there we have it. In conjunction with that, I quite like to use these icons down the bottom right side that usually are set on page, which means that when you use these arrows, it jumps up a page or down a page. But you can use the circle, the select browse object, to decide what effect you're going to put on those two arrows. So I could jump to specific fields, or I could jump to end notes, or I could jump to footnotes, or one footnote, then the next, or then the previous, or comments, and so on and so forth, tables, pictures. So I can go through the document based on those objects. Um, but I can also get to the go-to from there as well. That's why I wanted to mention that. Go to bookmark, choose the one you want, and there you have it. That's bookmarks. We're going to look at cross-references now. I'm going to put a, a bookmark in front of the word churches because I know I want to jump back to this at a later date. So I'm just going to insert, a, oops, get that right. I'm going to insert a bookmark and set that up as churches. While we're on this dialog box, you can notice at the bottom, if we've got our bookmark selected, we can also delete it and go to, we can jump straight to the, to the the bookmark from there, but I'll just type in churches and add that so I can come back to it at a later date. If I scroll down the document, you'll notice I've inserted a picture of a church of uh, of all saints, and I've also added a caption there, figure one, um, to allow me to reference to that. That's something we looked at in previous videos. Okay, so I'll just do Alt G to bring up the go to dialog box, and I can then jump to my church bookmark. Was that? And there we are back at churches. Now what I want to do is, is get people to read the text and then say, oh, there's a photograph about the church there. But I don't want them to scroll through to find it. I want to put, see the photograph. So inside here, I'm just going to 
put in insert reference cross reference and this brings up the cross reference dialog box we can cross reference to lots of different objects in the document uh, headings and bookmarks there's bookmarks that set up earlier on churches education and sports but i want to look at figures because that's where my image is that's the photograph of the church figure one there it is so i'm going to cross reference to that photograph So I click on insert notice there that we've also got um, a tick box for inserting as a hyperlink that's a useful feature for to allow you to jump straight to um, the bookmark the cross reference rather than have to scroll through the document and there's a few options there I'll let you have a look at those by yourself so we have set up to the jump to the figure and as a hyperlink so click on insert close the dialog box and there you can see in the text it now says figure one all saints church when i hover over that you can see that it's a hyperlink if i click once you can see that it's a field more about fields in a later um in, the, in a later video but if i use control and click it will jump me straight to the photograph there we are so you can see the cross reference allows you to jump electronically straight to a different place in the document so that's insert reference cross reference reference into lots of different types of objects bookmarks and figures um, and it just allows you to navigate an electronic document a little bit more easily